Hi, my name is uh, Viviana Paredes. A lot of people call me Viva. I think as artists, you have to allow yourself to do what you really want to do. Do what your interests are. Um, you have to speak from the heart. Be my advice to young people is do what you really are interested in. And try to say something. I find my work is my, my way of talking. Uh, I find it very personally satisfying that I'm leaving something behind. My grandmother was a cook in Acurandera. She gave me her molcajete when I was very young. The molcajete is a, I think of it as a original cuisine art. <laughs> uh, you know, it's always been year, used thousands of years. It hasn't changed at all. And it's used to nurture, uh, to prepare medicine or to, to spices, alchemy of extraction, which is a series of molcajetes that I did. And I thought, I'm going to take my molcajete and I'm going to bronze it. And uh, um, for me, it's, it's uh, honoring my grandmother, but also all the women that take care of us. Because I'm very interested in, in ethnobotany, which is the study of culture and plants. It's a very interesting time, given that our environment, global warming, and what we're going through. The culture of, of Latin America and people who are, tend to be poor are not the ones who trash the earth. They're the ones who usually um, use plants, all parts of animal parts. They use, you know, recycle, reuse, repurpose. The maguey, to me, is a very iconic plant, um, both you know, the culture, the uh, mythology behind it, but also everything about that plant is usable. And when I was doing this piece, I was trying to wrap my head around what was going on in the desert, um, people migrating through, you know, across the desert, coming to the north to work, and also all the mujeres from Juarez that were, were being murdered, and a lot of my work tends to be more about the spiritual side. And so um, this piece, Alma, um, I thought about, you know, these women and people who are dying in the desert that no one is witnessing this. And then I thought, no, nature witnesses what happened. And so that's what I decided to use as this plant that witnesses these people dying. And so that it's floating is, about this this connection, about the spirit leaving the earth and and but still being kind of hovering there. It took me about a year to figure that piece out because it's not easy to try to float a piece of glass. My pocha tongues is about me. I was born in the 50s, so it was not there was no bilingual classes, and it was really looked down on for you to speak Spanish in school. So I used to get punished and. Um, so I felt like language got taken away from me. And, but that was sort of like tearing out my tongues, ta taking out my way of speaking because my whole world was Spanish. I made these hollow tongues, all these different shapes, and every one of the tongues is filled with medicinal herbs that, have, that address the mouth, the breath, the lungs. And it was sort of my way of forgiving because it wasn't my fault. On the other side of that also, is I didn't know I was dyslexic until I was in my 40s. So I, well, like when I got older and, and older enough to, to go, okay, I'm gonna get my language back, I'm gonna learn to speak better Spanish, I couldn't do it through the textbooks because it made no sense to me and I didn't know that until afterwards that people who are dyslexic have a really difficult time learning the way they teach. It's you learn differently. So, you know, I'd be in class taking Spanish class and the teachers would always say, you're doing, you're my best student, but you're lazy and you don't focus and I do lousy on tests. So when I found out I was dyslexic, it was like this whole world pressure came off of me and I thought, you know, I've been beating myself up and punishing myself for not being able to get, learn to speak my language better. And then the thing about forgiveness came in. I realized that this is a universal thing, that you know, losing language and, and feeling bad about it and, and reclaiming it and forgiving ourselves for 
because we are a mix, you know, here. We speak Spanish, English, and, and uh, you know, a lot of slang, I guess. Uh, so that's what that piece is about, my fortune talks.